relationship. Yeah. We have a daughter. We had to send her to school today. We had a tough conversation last night about about are we going to do this to uh, Atlanta parents and students. What do you tell them to make them feel safe about going to school today? Yeah, my heart goes out to those family members and those students and staff members in Winder, Georgia, that had that unfortunate incident yesterday of a deadly mass shooting and one that injured so many, and it damaged everybody's heart as much as it damaged people's bodies. And so folks are afraid. Folks are fearful of what happens next. We've seen this over and over again in America, and now Georgia has just become a victim of a mass shooting. It's too many guns. We have to do something about gun laws, to reform the gun laws, to get guns out of the hands of people that shouldn't have them. A 14-year-old being able to access a gun in his parents' house. We don't know all the details, but we know that this is unfortunate and it has to stop in America. We need red, you know, red flag laws. We need background checks. We need whatever we can. We need meaningful, sensible gun laws to stop this madness from happening. And so to the kids at APS, while that was 50 miles away, um, I, I, my mind and heart is still with Atlanta public school system kids and private schools around Atlanta to let them know, hey, we are uh, adding our patrols of the Atlanta Police Department working with APS, PD, et cetera, to keep kids safe in Atlanta schools. How are you just holding up with the information, man? And just like on a personal level? Yeah, during the middle of my day, doing all the busy stuff that I do as mayor, to be able to get the text message from Chief Sherbaum and others telling me an incident has happened in Winder, my heart dropped and to know about that this was a tragedy and then to hear the uh, body count of how many were injured and hurt and, and killed, it made me sad and all day yesterday it just made me uh, reflect on you know, how we have to do more and my heart still goes out to these families.